Oh, I'm so excited. Today I just got my hydrogen water bottle in the mail and I cannot wait to use it. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh, look at that. It looks simple enough. It looks like this fits on here, like that. Oh, I just heard a beep. Okay, I'm gonna go put some water in it. All right, I'll just put the cap on. Okay, let's see it go. Huh, doesn't really work. Maybe I'll try tapping on it. There we go. What? There's no bubbles. This thing is broken. I can't believe I got a defective one. These guys must be scammers. Hello, this is Steve at Hydrogen for Health. The title of this video is, Why Does My PEM Bottle Not Work? This is one of the questions that I get asked all the time. Today I'm going to show you the two reasons why your PEM bottle may not be working correctly. In front of you, I've got two identical Hydrogen for Health H2 Nano bottles. One of them is working perfectly and the other one is not. Both of these bottles are brand new. I'm gonna show you why your bottle may not be working correctly. And I'm gonna show you how to make your bottle work perfectly as advertised. In the background, you're gonna see a bunch of bottles. These are all different brands of PEM bottles. I'm gonna show you that all PEM bottles have the same couple of issues. So you may have one of these bottles in the background. This video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to get your PEM bottle working correctly and producing the amount of hydrogen that it should. I'm gonna show you now two reasons why your PEM bottle is not working correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and fill both of these bottles with some water. Today I'll be using distilled water just for the demonstration. All right, and now I'm gonna turn both of the bottles on. And I've got a, let's move this one, and this one, and this one, so that you can see the production of both bottles. Now it's pretty obvious that the one on the left is producing a lot more hydrogen than the one on the right. Like I said, both of these bottles are brand new, right out of the box. Now this bottle on the left is producing a lot of hydrogen. You're gonna get a lot of hydrogen content into that water. And this bottle on the right is producing some hydrogen, but not much at all. This bottle will not be able to put hydrogen into the water very well. The reason for this is that the membrane is either dry or oversaturated. Right now, I can tell you because of experience that this membrane and this bottle on the right is dry. With a dry membrane, you can't produce hydrogen very well. If you take your bottle out of the box, you've watched the instructional video, and your bottle looks like this, it's probably because the membrane is dry, or there's another reason I'll show you later. Now you may be thinking that this just happens on the Hydrogen for Health bottle. I'm gonna show you all these hydrogen bottles in the background. They all have dry membranes. I'm gonna show you what happens when you start up a PEM bottle with a dry membrane. Let's go ahead and fill these up with some water. All right, now let's turn all of them on. OK, 
Okay, now as you can see, these three bottles, the one on the left, barely producing, the one in the middle, barely producing, the one on the right isn't producing anything at all. Now you look at this bottle here, not producing anything. The bottle in the middle from Korea, producing nothing. Very little on that bottle. The H2 Life bottle, not producing anything. And those two bottles there, not making any hydrogen either. Now if you take your bottle out of the box, and it's not producing hardly any hydrogen, it's very simple to fix it. All you need to do is put some water in the glass, let the water sit for 24 hours, and then you're gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and let all these bottles sit for a while, and then I'm gonna turn them back on and show you what it looks like after letting the membrane hydrate. All right, it's been at least 24 hours now. All these bottles have had time to hydrate the membrane. I'm going to start them all up now and take a look at their performance. As you can see right in front of you, the two Hydrogen for Health bottles, the one on the right had a dry membrane. Now you can see it's producing just like the other one that had a hydrated membrane. You look at these bottles back here, you can see all three of them are producing nicely now. These three bottles in the middle are all producing real nice now. And these three bottles here are all producing really nice now. Okay, so it's that easy to get your hydrogen bottle working at tip-top performance like it was when it was new. And now you know that if you receive your bottle with a dry membrane, what to do to make it work perfectly. So now that's how you fix problem number one. Now let's go to the second problem that could happen with your hydrogen bottle. All right, I'm so excited. I just got my hydrogen water bottle and I got my H2 Blue test drops and I wanna see how much hydrogen's in this water. Okay, I'll start it up. And yeah, we're gonna have to let it run for a little bit. It's gonna put so much hydrogen in the water. It's just gonna be great. Look at that. It's just producing the hydrogen there. Looks great. I can't wait for it to get done with this five minute cycle. That way I can see how much hydrogen is gonna be in this water. Look at all those bubbles. All right, it's done now. Okay, we're gonna test it and see how much hydrogen's in the water. All right, I'm gonna grab a sample of this water and I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna put some drops in here. We're gonna see how much hydrogen's in this water. There we go. There's my sample. Now let's put some H2 blue in it. There's one drop, there's two drops, three drops. Okay, let's see what we got in here. All right, it took three drops, four drops. Oh, it took four drops. There's five right there. This thing's gonna take a lot of drops. There's five. Six drops. What? It's already turning blue. I only got six drops in there. This 
This thing must be broken. These guys must be scammers. All right, the next problem you can have with your PEM bottle is that the membrane is oversaturated. This means that water has been sitting on the membrane for too long between cycles. So this means if you run a cycle, make some hydrogen water, and let the water sit in the bottle for too long of a period, you'll get this phenomenon, which I call oversaturation. It'll look like you're getting a lot of bubbles, but you're not getting a lot of PPM into the water. You're not getting a lot of hydrogen into the water. This can happen if you use your bottle and then you just let it sit for a while. This could happen to you. This could also happen right out of the box with a brand new bottle. If the bottle is has been sitting on the shelf for a couple weeks before it's sent out to you, you could have the situation where you have a oversaturated membrane. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. This bottle here on the right has been sitting for a while with water in it and it has an oversaturated membrane and then this bottle on the left is working perfectly. As you can see The one on the right looks like it is making a pretty good amount of bubbles. And uh, your PEM bottle may make less bubbles, but it will make some bubbles if it's oversaturated. And the one on the left is just making a lot more bubbles, and they're a little bit bigger bubbles. So take a good look at that. This is how you tell if your membrane is oversaturated. It'll look like this. And this can happen on all PEM bottles. So this goes for every bottle that is a PEM bottle, just like the ones I have here in this video. There is a simple way to fix this. All you have to do is run your bottle three or four cycles, and then it'll look like this on the left. So if you get the situation where you make hydrogen water and you're testing with the H2 Blue, the hydrogen content comes out really low, then you know that you have an oversaturated membrane. All you have to do is run it three to five times and you'll be able to have the hydrogen content put in the water as advertised. So we just tested this water and it was and it got five drops, so that means it's 0.5 ppm. I'm gonna run it for three or four cycles and then we're gonna test the water again. All right, that's the first cycle. I'm gonna go ahead and run it again. And we'll compare it to the one on the left. All right, that's two cycles. Let's go ahead and run it again. All right, that was the third cycle. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. You can see now that the bottle on the right is producing a lot more bubbles than it was in the first cycle. All right, now I run it four times. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna empty out this water. I'm gonna put some fresh water in. Then we're gonna run it for a five minute cycle and see how much hydrogen's in the water.
All right, it's run for its five minute cycle. Let's go ahead and take a sample and we'll see how much hydrogen's in it. All right, there's our sample. The last time we got five drops. Let's see what we get this time. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five drops. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops. So right there we've doubled our hydrogen content. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and we'll get one more fifteen drops. So we tripled the hydrogen content of the water just by running the bottle three to five times with what I call an oversaturated membrane. Now you can see all our PEM bottles running again. They're all running like they were when they were brand new. So I hope these two simple tips will help everyone out. So when you take your hydrogen bottle out of the box, if it doesn't generate any hydrogen, or if it's not putting enough hydrogen into the water, now you know what to do. The goal of this video is to help as many people as I can. This is Steve, thanks for watching.